computer applications grade 5 lesson 1 evolution of computers see the computers we use today are very different from the early devices that were invented for doing calculations so let's learn about some of the early calculating devices a bakers the chinese invented a machine and they called it a bakers It was the first machine used for calculations and the reason why it was made was they wanted something that could help them count. The old Vacus was made up of stones, the one that you see on the left. It's now made up of strings and beads, the one that you see on the right. Pascal's adding machine. Back in 1642, Blaise Pascal A French mathematician invented the Pascal's adding machine. It performed difficult addition and subtraction. Pascal invented the machine at the age of 18 to assist his father in calculations for the tax collected. It's a rectangular box with wheels on it. The picture on your left is actually the picture of Pascal's adding machine, and the one that you see on the right It just shows you how it worked, okay? The next one is Leibniz calculator. Gottfried Leibniz, a German mathematician, invented the calculating device Leibniz calculator. The good thing about this is it performed arithmetic calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. It was made up of a step drum connected to a counting wheel. and teeth the picture that you see there is leibniz calculator next it's an analytical engine back in 1837 charles babbage developed the first mechanical computer he thought it could do difficult calculations mechanical computers were operated manually as you can see on your screen the analytical engine had an input output and processing system as in modern computers now let's talk about electronic computing devices the first in line is eniac electronic numerical integrator and computer back in 1946 john mockley and presper eckert of usa designed the world's first electronic computer the next electronic computing device was Univac 1 Universal Automatic Computer Univac 1 was a commercial electronic computer developed in the year 1951 by by Eniac inventors Time for some interesting fact Alan Turing is the father of modern computers as the base concept of new modern computers that we use today was devised by him Now let's talk about the generation of computers. You see the evolution of computers to current stage is defined by means of generation of computers. The computers made in the period 1940 to 56 are said to be the first generation computer. These computers used vacuum tubes. They were huge in size, they had very small memory, and they were very slow as far as speed is concerned. they consumed a lot of power and the only language using which we could program these computers was the machine language the language of zeros and ones some of the examples of the first generation computers are edsac edvac and univac 1 the computers made in the period 1956 to 63 are said to be the second generation computers These computers used transistors. Compared to the first generation computers, these computers were small in size, fast, and cheap. They had more storage capacity and more powerful operating system. And these computers could be programmed using assembly language. One of the examples of the second generation computer is IBM 1401. The computers made in the period 1963 to 71 are said to be the third generation computers. These computers used integrated circuits or in short ICs. 
Compared to the second generation computers, these computers were small in size, they consumed less power, the storage capacity increased and these computers generated less heat. Some of the examples of the third generation computers are IBM 360 series and IBM 370 series. The computers made in the period 1971 to the present date are said to be the fourth generation computers. These computers use microprocessors. They have great computing power. They have very large storage capacity and they have unique storage devices at less cost. Some of the examples of the fourth generation computers are desktops, laptops and tablets. Now, these are the ones we use today, don't we? Let's talk about the fifth generation computers and period under discussion is present and beyond. The component used artificial intelligence and nanotechnology. Characteristic features very high speed, huge storage capacity, voice recognition, large memory requirement, and more user friendly. Examples of fifth generation computers are the supercomputers. Let's talk about the characteristics of computers. What we'll be discussing here are the capabilities of a computer system that makes it better than human beings. First is speed. See, speed is the amount of time that is taken by a computer in completing a task. The time taken by a computer to perform a particular task is less than that of a human being. The computers are actually classified on the basis of the speed by comparing their, comparing their MIPS or million instructions per second. Storage It refers to the capacity of a computer to store data and programs. Storage is done in storage media such as CDs, DVDs, pen drives, RAM or random access memory and ROM, read only memory. Next, it's accuracy, which means the degree of correctness and exactness of operation performed by a computer. Generally, the computers do not commit any errors. If an incorrect data is entered into a computer, it may lead to an accurate result, but otherwise, computer doesn't make mistake. Reliability. Computers do not get tired, and they can work efficiently for many hours. In case of any failure in a computer system, there are provisions for backup of data and programs. Versatility. See, computers are capable of performing both simple and complex tasks in less time. Computers perform completely different types of work at the same time, and for this reason, computers are used in all fields such as science, technology, business, communication, etc. While they have capabilities, they have limitations as well. The first limitation of a computer is that computer lacks some thinking. See, computers cannot think on their own. They need to be programmed by humans first before providing results. They can only work as per stored instructions. The next limitation of a computer is the computer cannot decide. See, computers cannot take their own decisions as they do not possess knowledge, information, intelligence of their own. The next limitation of the computer is that computers cannot express their ideas. So even though computers are widely used in all the fields, they cannot express their own ideas to solve problems. They need to depend on human beings to solve problems. The next limitation of a computer is that the computer cannot implement. See, computers perform efficient data storage and can handle huge data, but only the human decide the part of implementation. Now let's revise what you've done so far in this lesson. Abacus was the first machine used for calculation. Pascal's adding machine performed difficult addition and subtraction. Leibniz calculator performed all four 
basic arithmetic calculation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Charles Babbage developed the first mechanical computer. Mechanical computers were operated manually. ENIAC was the world's first electronic computer. The evolution of computers to current stage is defined by means of generation of computers. The characteristics of computers are speed, storage, accuracy, reliability, and versatility. The computers lack in thinking, decision making, expressing ideas, and implementation. That brings us to the end of lesson one.